Out of all the exciting new features in Photoshop CC 2019, I'm now going to show you what might be my favorite new feature. And this is great if you do any kind of picture in picture, creating thumbnails, collaging, all these different kinds of things. I'm going to show you this tool, I'm going to show you what it does, and then I'm going to give you five tips that you don't know about this tool yet. <laughs> Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. All right, so by now uh, you've probably watched my other video. If not, check it out right now where I give you my favorite features inside of Photoshop CC 2019. What I'm going to do over the next week or two though is I'm going to go and cherry pick one feature at a time and we're going to do a deep dive. And today we're going to start with the frames tool. Not only am I going to show you how it works, I'm going to give you some amazing tips and some things that I've figured out with it that you guys are really going to love. So first of all, let's have a look and see what this frames tool does. So the old way of adding a picture would be like this. We would go and we grab something like our rectangle tool, making sure it's set to shape. And we'll grab a couple of rectangles. Let's just do two. And now we want to put pictures inside there. We would grab these pictures, drag them out. Let's drag out a couple. Just hit enter. And this one. And then what we do is we move them above the layer we want them to go into. Hold down the Alt or the Option key and click to create a clipping group. Then we select it. We move it around. Hit Command T for free transform to resize it. Try and find a corner here because the pictures usually come in much bigger. And then we can kind of just position them like that. And this is just working with two images. Imagine if we have a grid of about 16 or something like that. Like sometimes I'll create an Instagram mockup. And then you want to start moving the pictures around. Then it gets really difficult because then you'd have to pull them out and reclip them and reposition them. Very time consuming. Now I'm going to show you the frames tool. With the frames tool, we just select our tool and then we can choose to do a rectangle or an oval. So let's do a, a rectangle here. Let's do another one. And then we'll also grab the oval tool and we'll draw another shape here. Now, if we want to put the pictures in, it's simple as just dragging and dropping. And notice it just drops them into those frames. Now to work in the frame, grab the frame tool and click once. Notice you see an outline. This outline is around the frame. If I hit Command T, I can resize the image and the frame at the same time. Now here's another new feature. You don't have to click up here or another tool. Just click away and now it applies that transformation automatically. This works for a lot of transformations inside of Photoshop CC 2019, including type and cropping. All right. So let's look at the next one. If I want to change the size though, double click and notice now the outline is around the image. So you toggle, double click, select the frame, double click, select the image. So now if I hit Command T, now I can resize the image inside there. So let's go to the next one, double click, and let's resize this. I'm going to resize the image so it's nice and big fits within that oval now, reposition it, and click to apply. Okay, you can see that's a much easier way of working, but what if we want to replace the images? Well, here's the thing. If we want to replace the image with a different image, we just simply click and drag, and it will automatically replace the image inside the frame with the new image. Okay, so what if we want to do something like create rounded corners on the rectangle? You'll notice here there's no tools or any options here to round those corners on the rectangle, but this is what we can do. Go down under our custom shape tool and choose rounded rectangle tool. Click and drag and create a shape with a rounded rectangle. Make sure we've got shape selected and not pixels. Then we go over into the layers panel, right click, choose convert to frame. And now this is going to convert this shape into a frame. So I could take another image here and I could just drag and drop this inside and notice now we get the nice rounded rectangles. Okay, what else can we do? Let's push this a little bit further. Let's do a custom shape. So let's do something here. Let's go and grab a shape. Let's grab a heart. And we're just going to drag out this heart. 
right click and we're going to convert to frame and let's take this picture drag and drop in there now remember command T or control T we can resize this and we can move it around within the frame and if you don't want this to show just click in the layers panel there and it will show a nice display all right I know we can take this further you're gonna really love this all right this time we're gonna grab the type tool and I'm gonna grab impact for the font color doesn't matter we're gonna click here and type in Photoshop cafe now to apply the type just click over here but I want to make this a little bigger actually I'm just gonna hold down the command key and just drag it out make this type a little bit bigger great so let's put it here now if we right click in here and we choose to you've guessed it convert to frame now we can take another picture and drag and drop that in there and notice that that now is fitting in there so I can move this around notice that because we've got the image selected double click now we have the frame selected and we can move it all together or resize it scale it whatever we want to do double click go back to the picture okay here's another thing that you might not know about taking the image in and out of the frame if I click and drag I can just drag this right out onto my canvas what if I want to put it back in you can't do it with the frame tool but if we grab the move tool and click and drag back in there notice it snaps right back inside and then we can move it around again as much as we like okay I'm going to show you another thing there's a good chance you don't know you might have tried to apply layer styles to these frames and you might have found out they don't work let me demonstrate let me click on this one here and I want to put a double stroke around it so I'm going to choose that particular layer see the effects and we're going to choose a stroke okay so let's choose an outside stroke let's make it black and resize it oh it's not working you know what's happening there is it's trying to put that on the outside of the image not the frame so we can't apply an outside layer style to this frame or can we here's a little hack that I figured out so let's take this layer and hit command G that would be control G on Windows for group and now we've put this inside a layer group check this out now I can apply a layer style to a group so if we put our stroke here and we choose our black stroke and we put it on the outside look at that now we can apply that stroke so what if we want to do a double stroke well let's create another one and we want to make this one black as well maybe a little larger let's create the top one and change it to white let's do a double stroke effect and notice now we're able to apply that effect we could put a shadow on it as well if we wanted all right this is where it's going to start to get even crazier did you know that if you wanted to apply a layer style to a whole group of different images or different layers you don't have to reproduce that layer style over and over again we just drag them into the group so if we select these two layers here and drag and drop these into the group notice now they take on the layer style let's do it to all of them and notice we're able to apply that layer style to all of those frames in one click now it's really cool because it's inside that group if I change it it's going to change them all at the same time so turn off the drop shadow if you want let's change the size of the stroke make it a little thinner and now you can see you can update them at the same time hey I've got a question for you two questions actually the first question is what is your favorite new feature inside of Photoshop CC 2019 let me know in the comments if you don't have one that's fine but the second question I have for you is when you see that a new version is out do you update immediately or do you wait let me know in the comments underneath as well so if you like this tutorial and you like tutorials like this you might want to consider becoming a subscriber here at Photoshop Cafe we call that the Cafe Crew so you want to be part of the Cafe Crew hit the subscribe button and also that little bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new tutorial
Now, if you like this video, smash that like button into dust. Don't forget to check out my other tutorial, by the way, where I show you all my favorite features inside of uh, Photoshop CC 2019 and keep coming back for these new ones I'm going to be releasing over the next week or two, where we're going to take these deep dives with tips like we've done here into all the new features in Photoshop CC 2019. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, create, don't steal. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. Mm -hmm.